many pieces of Great. And tell us what you're wearing tonight. Uh, well, I, I designed um, this little number. It's a spare trade. It's uh, hand-woven silk with uh, gold embroidery. Uh, it's made by one of our groups, women's group in Bangladesh. There's some Kenyan handmade jewellery going on there. Um, with my with my granny's wristwatch, we're feeling really excited, really good. People tree, three thousand farmers and artisans around the world. We're this incredible network of, of designers and technicians, um, you know, working directly with the producers to ensure that they double their incomes. And they run schools and hospitals and literacy programs. And wouldn't it be cool if we won tonight? I mean, for people tree to be nominated in terms of the fashion industry, like embracing sustainable fashion. Well, I think it's really important, especially here in New York, because people tree won a number of awards over the years. Um, but I think that fair trade and sustainability is much less of an issue here. We really need to kickstart the US, so yeah, I'm really excited. It's a really good opportunity to talk about fair trade and sustainability in a completely different market. And when you started the company, did you ever think that it would be something that would bring you to New York and be celebrated in a kind of global way? Um, no, God no. no I, I mean, we started in Japan, as you know, and. Um, very organically um, in, in our living room and uh, you know of course we had a great vision for what, what fashion could do to bring change to different communities around the developing world but, you know we just we haven't stopped in the last 19 years we've just been moving forward and I mean it's really exciting now that department stores um, a, 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 a stockist of people tree and also that you've got this new ethical fashion petite network that's burgeoning around Europe and around Japan that's what we're hoping will happen here in the US as well. And back in the UK there was a dispatches program recently showing that you know um, people really aren't you know kind of treating their work as well. So do you think even though that you've kind of really made a name for sustainable fashion there's still a long way to go? So you know I, I think the dispatches program was really exciting because it was great investigative journalism but you know is it government regulation that's needed or, or is it consumer awareness that we need more of or is it fashion companies that should be more responsible for their procurement. Well, I think it's all three at the same time, really.